Hey guys, I wanted to share with you how I put together the items for my uh, duty uh, chart. All right, so this one here I made two copies of. I laminated them, okay, and then I made a pocket. So I'm going to show you how I did that. That is the black one. This is going to be for my sophomores. Here's the white one, okay, for my freshman. I got this image off of Google. It's got the um, a font, laminated it, just very basic, nothing fancy. I got a mess here. And then I have been um, making my little cups, okay? So these little cups are a pocket, okay? It's a tight fit, but I don't need it to be very big because I'm just going to slip uh, the brushes in here. And they're flat brushes. Alright, so um, this one is Inventory Associate. So I gave it a fancy name. Inventory Associate is the person that's in charge of supplies. Okay, so I figured if I change the name of it, give it something fancy, then they would be a little bit more interested in it. Instead of doing sweeper, I called it a floor associate. Maybe, we'll see, I don't know if that works. All right, so I went ahead and cut these out, printed them out, cut them out, okay? Laminated them. Then I, I had two, like so, but then I just cut the cup part out so I can put it over. I used double-sided sticky tape on the back. I go ahead and peel from here. Okay, U shape, sticky. Make sure my labels match. And then go ahead and line her up and press stamp. Hey guys, wanted to share with you my job duty system that I put up for this school year. I've tried many, many things in the past. Um, some have been very elaborate because I wanted to make sure that Everybody in class had a job to do and that everything was perfectly clean and sometimes I would spend two hours cleaning up after everybody and that was tiresome and annoying and then I just finally like let it be and then recently what I did with my students that I've had these last two years is that I trained them from the beginning to pick up and clean up after themselves and their own area and then I just go back and inspect and that has truly worked for me. Um, so I really don't have problems with people cleaning up. Um, in my class I teach about being nice and respectful and um, responsible. So I really, if I just ask please, they anybody who's around they do it. Or if I just say, hey guys can you help me clean? Everybody just kind of stops what they're doing and uh, helps me. So I really don't had, or I didn't have a system in place, but now that I have sophomores this year, and we will be in the classroom and the um, salon area some, then I wanna make sure to uh, cover those spaces and also to prepare them for their job duties for their junior and senior year with those teachers. So this here, okay, it's just uh, next to the, first one of the panels of the wall, and uh, here is just an image from Google it's a mascara wands and then just responsibilities instead of job duties. Here is for the, um, this is for the sophomores. And so they'll have little brushes and the little brushes of the students that are absent or that do, do not have a duty for that uh, time, their little brush is gonna be there. So I found a brush on Google that matched the color scheme, which is gold and black. Um, it is tedious, it's on cardstock, it was tedious to cut it out, but um, I'm gonna laminate them so each student will cut their own out, put their name on it. Where the scissors are, they'll put their class period, and then I'll laminate them. We'll all start up here. Um, it's still not laminated, so it's kinda hard to get in there in the little pocket. But this is just uh, two, I made two copies of this, and laminated it, and then I put double-sided sticky tape to make a pocket. So this is my freshman. So that's my freshman pocket. Um, and then these are just three extra blank ones that I had. Again, they're little pockets. I just cut out the front. Um, so we have uh, three classes for sophomores. So here I have my, see if I can get the whole shot, fifth period, sixth period, seventh period. And the most I have is 18 students in those individual classes. 
So um, I have a manager and the manager is going to be the one in charge of this system, making sure that they take the student brushes from the holding bin or the makeup toolbox and puts them in their designated locations and responsibilities and then switches them around uh, fairly. And so that's what the manager does. That takes time on them and it helps them learn that um, skill because when you are a salon manager or manager anywhere else, you delegate um, the schedules and responsibilities and so that helps with that. And um, the classroom leader is a person that oversees um, the area of the classroom and then the salon leader is the person that oversees the area of the salon. So when we're in the classroom or the salon, these are the people that go through and make sure that all the other associates are doing their responsibilities. And if someone's absent, they step in. If something's wrong or messy or dirty, that's they take care of that. So the salon and classroom leader take my place in the sense that I don't have to run around the classroom and see what's wrong or what's dirty or missing or whatnot. They are the ones that say, hey, shampoos need to be washed or this needs to be disinfected or whichever the case may be. They also help me pass out things or organize or prep as well. The team leader is a person that is in charge of all the rest of the people that associates that are um, have a duty. So I used to have tons of different duties but I just kind of for the needs of my classroom and my students and my lessons, I kind of dwindled it down to just three. The main things that we always have trouble with. So we have a towel associate, which is a person that takes care of the towels, whether that be loading, folding, washing, uh, picking out the old ones, tossing them, whatever that may be. That's a towel associate. Then we have floor associate. These are the people that take care of the floor, making sure everything's picked up, swept, uh, mopped if we have to. We do have a push mop. A push broom here as well um, and then we have our inventory associate so this is a person that helps me pass out things and to make sure to pick up things and make sure that we have everything collected at the end of the class or the end of the lesson so my um, team leader is the person that's in charge of these people as well and um, whenever someone's absent the team leader picks up wherever um, they need help or wherever we're missing a person an associate and then at the end we have our inspector so the inspector is a person that comes in to make sure that everybody is doing their responsibility making sure that the manager is managing the system well making sure the classroom leader and the salon leader don't need any help or are on top of their game making sure that everything is good so this is i kind of broke it down and all of this is what i do whenever i'm with my students and so i went ahead and just made the students take my place not only is it helping me to have some time to go around and do what I need to do instead of having to do my the duty responsibilities myself, but it teaches, it teaches the students that there is an order of things in salons and businesses, and it also helps them uh, being able to put that on their um, resumes or portfolios that they, they served as one of these um, uh, leaders or associates or positions. So again, um, the person, if you're a floor associate, the manager will come through, put the little makeup brush in there, and you can tell the difference because the bristles and so a bit longer. So then, you know, they'll just come up here and then their little um, makeup brush will be in here. Um, and then they'll switch them around as needed or necessary. Um, I'm planning on putting two to three people per little um, cup or per um, responsibility. Uh, it just depends on um, how the math plays out. but. This is just, it matches the classroom, it's neat, it's fun, it's different, it, uh, it's cosmetology related, it's interesting to look at, um, and you know, their makeup brushes and the, putting the makeup brush in the little tool bin, uh, in the makeup uh, box whenever it, we're not in use, it just kind of just matched and goes uh, with everything. And so I think students will take to it a little bit better than if I just had a chart and moved around their names on a pin or something. Um, I did do some research with the elementary students, the elementary teachers, to see how they did their uh, duty uh, charts and things like that, uh, classroom helper and line leader. So I did take some inspiration from um, some of the kindergarten teachers out there on Pinterest and YouTube. So uh, just taking an idea from somebody else and just making it your own, I think it's gonna be the most important part. 
So anyway, make it work for you. Um, this is the first time I do it this way, so we'll see how it works out this school year, but I think it's going to be pretty good. This is my eighth year of doing this, and I think that I finally learned uh, what's really important and what's not, and to really focus on, on the main things. That way I spend very minimal time having to clean up, and then that way I can spend the maximum time teaching the students, which is what they're here to do. All right, so, or here to learn. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and hopefully uh, you'll able, you'll able, you are able to have a successful responsibility or duty chart of, or system of some sort. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.